Hey everyone, so today we're gonna to talk a little bit about goals and what, what it takes to reach those goals and some daily steps to put you in action to make those goals a reality. So, first of all, what is your goal? Um, do you wanna lose inches? Do you wanna have more energy? Do you wanna have a clearer mind throughout the day? Um, do you wanna lose inches around your waist to fit into those jeans? Uh, do you wanna get your body back to what it was 10 to 15 years ago? I would say for me, that was probably my, my goal. I found I was you know, working pretty hard, eating, eating clean, but I wasn't quite happy with my results, the end result. And so sometimes you gotta step it up. As you get older, you gotta step it up. So we're gonna talk about some steps you can do to reach your goals. And then also, why do you wanna reach those goals? Um, is it to have more energy to play with your kids or your grandkids or live a disease-free life? or not have prescription drugs as you get older, um, or to have more confidence in the bedroom, or from day-to-day -day life activities like golf, um, working out, and things like that. So, gotta have a goal in mind, and you gotta have a reason why. If you don't have those, I can give you all the tips in the world, it really doesn't really matter. So, um, the thing about daily actions is, really it's all about consistency, day in and day out, doing those daily things, um, and they turn into weekly, monthly, and then yearly. So you wanna take those steps, and the thing about time is it can either uh, promote you or expose you. I always like that. It can, it, things that you can do are either, through time will either promote you or expose you. And so we want it to promote us and be our best self. So what daily actions can you do? Well, let me give you about uh, a handful. Well, I'll give you about eight to 10 of them, okay? One, and I talk about a lot of this all the time, is stay away from processed goods. Uh, bread, pastries, um, <clears throat> croissants, donuts, things like that, cereals. Uh, replace those, okay? You can add vegetables into your life as long as they agree with you. Add vegetables in moderation and when they're in season, preferably. Um, avoid sugar, soft drinks, right? If you don't drink your calories, right? Let's, let's stick with water or tea. <clears throat> So that's my next one, drink water, okay? Uh, you can also do some black coffee from time to time. You don't wanna rely on coffee. You can have it from time to time and use it. I like to use it preferably maybe even before a workout, gives yourself a little caffeine boost and get in there and hit it. So what else could you do? Well, that leads into my other thing, staying active. Um, staying active, this could be going for a walk. Uh, this could be working out or lifting or swimming um, or kickboxing or whatever it is but some type of activity three to four times a week. <clears throat> and that sort of leads into my other thing, which is get a dog. If you find you need help walking or you need a, a workout, a walk partner, get a dog. That'll get you up and moving no matter what it's like outside. Um, make sleep a priority. This is a big one, right? Make it a priority. Make sure you're getting enough sleep and not neglecting it. <clears throat> and a lot of that means is, could mean is, Hitting it, but putting an alarm on an hour or two before you go to bed to just give you a, a reason to stop and shut everything down. Phones, um, anything else, TV, um, maybe read a book, meditate. Really make sleep a priority. It's so important in general health, day to day, um, and many other reasons. Um, find time for yourself, okay? This could be yoga, this could be meditation, um, but reading a book, but find time to, have you, to, to take care of yourself and no one else. Um, a big one with the 21 day challenge that I have is space out time between meals, okay? We wanna keep ourselves in a low insulin state and one way to do that is to space out time between meals. If you have three meals, don't snack in between. Um, give intermittent fasting a go. You can check out the 21dayfastingchallenge.com for that. Uh, just to get you started, but intermittent fasting has really changed my body and the way I feel from a day-to-day -day basis. So you just gotta be patient, um, follow the program, and it'll all work out. So those are some of my tips. Um, maybe take one and build from there. Maybe start with taking out processed foods and then build from there, and then start spacing out your meals, okay? And then go from there. But have a goal, have a reason why, and just take daily steps to get there. So let me know if you have any questions, comments, or concerns. Put it down below or private message me. And feel free to share this with anyone you think that would get benefit. And have a great day.